So in this video, we're going to derive the cumulative distribution function for the Rayleigh distribution. Now, to derive the cumulative distribution function, first of all, we need the probability density function for this Rayleigh distribution. So the PDF of this, now it's a function of x, which is our random variable, and it has one parameter, beta. And it's x times beta squared. So that's our random variable times our parameter. Now this is a scale parameter, this beta. And we multiply that by the exponential to the negative power of the random variable and the scale parameter again, all squared divided by two. So that's the PDF for the Rayleigh distribution. Now this is quite a complicated looking function here. Now, for the cumulative distribution function, what we have to do is we have to integrate this from negative infinity to infinity. So the CDF, that is found by integrating from negative infinity to infinity of our function here, f of x with our scale parameter beta with regards to x. Now, what we need to know is next is information about our random variable and our scale parameter. Now, the random variable for the Rayleigh distribution is always greater than zero and it goes to infinity. And the same is applied to beta, our scale parameter. OK, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to input my PDF inside of here. So then we get from negative infinity to infinity, I'm going to now type in my PDF. Beta squared exponential to x squared beta squared over 2 dx. Now, my random variable was always greater than zero, so there's no negative values. So if I integrate from negative infinity to zero, I will get zero because there's no information in that uh, part of the values of x. So I can change this negative infinity to zero straight away. Because from negative infinity to zero, there's nothing. So I could straight, change that up straight away. Now what I could also do is, I could probably plug in a dummy variable for my x to try and help me integrate this. And then when I integrate, I get an x out of it to give me my cumulative distribution function. That's what I want. So I can now change this integral in terms of a dummy variable. So I'll go from zero, I'll leave the upper parameter just for the moment, but where I see an x, I'm gonna use my dummy variable t. So t times beta squared, so my x will be a t, then the exponential to the negative, x will become a t, beta squared over two, and integrate with regards to t. Now my range of integration, instead of going to infinity, because I know x goes to infinity, I'm just going to plug in x into there. And then when I integrate, I will get an x out of it. Okay, so how are we going to integrate this? This looks like really complicated stuff to integrate. So t squared beta squared over 2, the derivative of this looks very much like this. So let's try doing a u substitution with this bit as my u substitution. So let's try that. So let u equal t squared beta squared over 2. Differentiate this with regards to t. So therefore my du will be, well, beta squared over 2 will stay. That's a constant multiple. And then all to do now is take the derivative of t squared, which is just 2t. So then I will put that as 2t. And then here I need to write my dt. Now you'll see here the two twos will cancel out. So they will just cancel. And then I'm then left with beta squared times t. So let's just write this now in terms of dt. So get dt on its own. So dt equals du over beta squared t. So that's the result of my u substitution. So now what I'm going to do is I just need to substitute in here my u variable instead of my t and then change my parameter as well. 
Okay, so now I go from zero. Now my x, I'm now going to plug in this as x squared beta squared over two. So that will be my parameter of integration. So that looks quite complicated, but I just plug that in there because that's what my u is. And then my t, uh, beta squared, I'm going to leave that in, even though that's not invited into the u variable, but I'm just going to show what the cancellations are. And then the exponential to the negative, and then t squared beta squared over 2, that's just u. So that will go there like that. And then dt, I just write this in. So I've got du over beta squared t. Okay, well, straight away, I can see what my cancellations are. t beta squared, t beta squared is here. So they cancel out. So now I'm just left with, from 0, x squared beta squared over 2, e to the negative u, du. Now we can integrate this pretty easily. That's just going to be negative e to the negative u. So that's pretty straightforward. And then my range of integration will be this one. So let's take this off the board and write up my answer up here. OK, so let's put in the result of my integration. So negative e to the negative u. So that's the result of the integral of that. And then my parameters are just these ones. So 0, x squared, beta squared over 2. OK. So now what you do now is just plug in for my u these two parameters and subtract the difference. So first of all, let's go minus e to the minus x squared beta squared over 2. So that would be my first parameter done. And now subtract when u is 0. So minus e to the minus 0. OK. Well, e to the minus 0 is just e to the 0. And e to the 0 is just 1, so this is just minus 1. So now we can simplify this off. If I've got minus minus 1, that's just positive 1. And as I've got a minus here, I'll perhaps switch these round and put the positive in front. It's just easier to read. So my cumulative density function, which is f of x given beta. So note the capital F, not the lowercase f, because that's an integral. I put my 1 in front and then subtract this one here is a minus so e to the minus x squared beta squared over 2 so that's the same as what we got here so this is my cumulative density function for my Rayleigh distribution okay so in the next video we're going to find the quantile function using this result here. Okay.